All right, here we go. Only because of special request am I doing a shrink rip for you. And it's not an official shrink rip because, you know, the shrinks all fade. So I've already had a look. I've already had a little, a little play, a little goof around with it. But we're going to have a look at the U.S. Civil War. This is a game designed by Mark Simonich. And here's a couple of interesting things to, just to get started with, okay? Just as you're setting your expectations about this game, if you haven't already... Uh, ordered it or whatever the case may be. This game is, I think, influenced by the Civil War, Eric Lee Smith's title, and uh, by Herman's For the People. It's not a replacement, remake, refresh, second edition of the Civil War. This is its own game, and I think that's a probably an important point to keep in mind when we start assessing the game and the gameplay and all the rest of it. Um, something that I did not know, and I, I'm kind of happy I didn't know that. I might not have ordered it in the first place because I was kind of expecting it to be a, a refresh of uh, the Civil War. That, to me, is neither here nor there. Uh, but having had a quick look at the rules, and the components and some of the, the key systems of the game. I think it's going to be a particularly interesting game in its own right, and I think that's very, very exciting. It's about time we had a kind of uh, strategic level look at the US Civil War. So let's have a look at the components and what comes inside. And first up, full color rule book on the shiny paper, uh, nice thick uh, pages, full color, lots of examples. <coughs> Probably 29, 28 pages of rules, pretty straightforward stuff. Yeah, the campaign, if we take out the optional rules and the advanced rules for Navy, which in fact Mark recommends you don't really even bother with the advanced rules until you've played three or four times. I kind of got the impression that the game works just fine without them. You're talking about 20 pages of rules, which is pretty impressive for a strategic level game. So let's have a look. Big, thick, heavy, gorgeous box. It's one of those deluxe edition boxes. Uh, the game comes with <coughs> some nice packaging in here to keep things all in place. You have your army displays, setup cards for the scenarios for 1861 and 1863, two sets of charts. And on those, you obviously have your combat results table, blockades, sequence of play outline for you, supply attrition. Uh, the first thing I would do when you grab this game is read the designer notes. I like to do that anyway, but certainly give them a read because it really does give you some nice insight into some of the design constructs and why he goes about doing what he does, uh, in particular with regards to supply, forts, the rivers and uh, other elements of that nature. Uh, so that's the charts. Now, the counters. Sheet number one. Leaders for both sides. And then you've got these representations of uh, manpower and strength, strength points here. Yeah, you've got the, um, now some are named, right? You've got some than the name ones you then put strength points underneath. And these are militia, actually. That's what they are. They're militia. <coughs> anyway, there's those. And then you so not a whole lot of counters, right? We're talking there's a couple there's a, maybe a hundred counters there. These are in sets of eight going across. Uh, and then a whole bunch of information counters for fortifications and Disorganization and demoral de de being demoralized and things like that. All sorts of fun, groovy stuff. Got to build your arsenals up for your supply. Okay, so there's that. Now there's these cute little cards here. That factor into the game. And they're very small. All right. These, and these, now here's the cool thing about the counters, too, I'm, I'm, before I forget. <coughs> They're the larger, uh, like three-quarter inch, would you call them? 
half uh, half inch ones. I don't know what I don't know what the right size is, but whatever. Uh, they're awesome and they're thick. They're well cut. Uh, these are going to pop out nice and easily, and they're uh, perfectly offset as well. It's a, just a beautiful production run. And after the the troubles with great pedals of history, Alexander, this is a, a return to the you know nice high quality jobs that we've all come to love and expect from GMT. Okay, so you've got these cards. They uh, these are special actions that can be played at certain times in the game. And we'll leave that at that. We're going to get out some maps now. There's two maps on a mounted stock. I'm going to try and I'll hold the camera up in a second. I don't want to this is big. Look at this bad boy. I'm going to have to move the box out of the way. So you guys can see this. This will be the eastern seaboard. That's one half of the game there. Norfolk, Wilmington, Charleston, Raleigh, South Carolina. There's Philadelphia all the way up here. Okay. Comes across to Ohio. And then down to Florida. And you've got your turn record. No, no, you can't see that very well, but you've got turn record shot there. So I think the area covered is very similar to this, the American Civil War, right? The, 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 the Civil War, I should say. And this is the other half of the, the map. And it takes you all the way across to Texas, across the coast, Mississippi, etc. You've got the river, the main ferrying rivers. Beautiful uh, stock, nice texture, great big hexes. Uh, hard to give you a feel for the hex size. Let me see if I can grab another counter. He's a regular size counter from OCS, right? Um, right I think these are these are half inch counters, and these are so if you put these on here, you'll see the size difference there, right? So that gives you a quick look at the game. I'm really excited about uh, having a chance to play this. I'm not sure when that's going to happen. Uh, you can see the thickness of the, the board there. But uh, I know a lot of you asked me to, well not a lot of you, two or three of you, <laughs> had asked me to do this quick shrink, shrink rip for you. So now you've got it, you've seen it all, and we will uh, talk to you soon. Great artwork on the cover too, how about that?